the textbook itself is a good introduction for literacy. Okay, but I feel that the um, except for the first month for the discourse, they have to cram 250 characters. It's hard. But after that, I think the pace slowed down a lot, and I think they have huge potential because the funny things teaching heritage learner is to discover their potential. Because for regular students, the, uh, they only have this much. They cannot know beyond what they don't know because they learn everything from you. But for heritage learner, it's very different. They have this foundation, this, this much. You don't know each person. So they might know the words, they just cannot, you know, simultaneously or like naturally think of, but they heard this word before. So for that, it's their potential. They have the potential in it. So, so once you discover their potential, they can go really fast. So what I like to change is I'm going to, in addition to this textbook, because it's, it's, it's important for st student to have a foundation. Because if they have a book, they feel much better. There's certain thing they can control. I don't want to give them, you know, for a higher level, we start giving them the individual articles for the, you know, streamline three or four. Um, they can handle it, but for the beginner, they can't. They want to have a book. So, but in addition to this book, I want to add more text um, relevant to the topics to the books, which I did actually uh, last term. That I added two actual texts talking about um, how to address people in Chinese, and these are considered more like authentic material, and they learn a lot, and they echoes what they know about Chinese. They don't talk about in the textbook because this is more. This is a newer uh, text, just you know, recently published. And I think I will do that more, add that more into the course. It's a two textbooks. It's called Modern Readers, and there are, each books have a different levels of the text. So I use the text according to their levels. So for the Chinese. Um, 107, Streamline 1, I use the one talking about addressing people, which is their level because it's a dialogue. For the Streamline 2, I start using social media, talking about personal page, talking about, you know, um, basically you want to go, go on a trip, you go online and find people put the blog, you know, the Chinese, they put blog and say, what do you need to do before these things? It's authentic material. Yeah, so I, I, I like to add those more because it's relevant to their life. And these old books is good at learning characters, <laughs> but they're not really, like they said, well, it's good to learn Chinese cultures, but it's so old. They always say, it's so old. I can't imagine those days. Why do we have to do this? You know, I say, I know, but you know, the topic is just, it's out of date. But a good part is, it's, uh, it's a foundation for them to learn. Sometimes I joke with them, I said, just learn the characters, it's good for you. <laughs> so, so I think I would like to um, not get rid of textbook completely because I think they will feel you know, panicky because there's no textbook, they don't know what's next they need to do. So have a textbook, they have something they can always refer to. And then I add more and add more of these so-called authentic material.